Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide and we are on May 27th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else that's affecting humanity, disasters worldwide. Looking here the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, two outgoing sunspots, a couple plasma filaments erecting from the southern hemisphere. Other than that, no major sun events to talk about right now, except for the two outgoing sunspots. One of them releasing a CME. And as well, plasma there you see, taken off from the sun. Closer look here at the two sunspots belting out CME. And as well, look at last image there, you see a little flash. There is definitely something whipped back onto the sun. We'll have to see in the coming images to see what 2824, Sunspot 2824 has done. You can see a large plasma filament just north of it, and I think that's what fell back onto the sun. We'll have to see. Stay tuned to the dew. No Earth-facing coronal holes. So our geomagnetic activity still remains low. Solar X-ray flux is a little bit heavy on us. And that's going to show up in the Schumann resonance for sure. Real-time solar wind sitting here at 424 kilometers per second. Just to give you a show on the pressure that it's putting on our planet. This is our magnetosphere right now. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 5696. No, 5672. So that's a pretty strong zap with the Schumann resonance. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, you can see a small CME shot out the left side there of the sun. Other than that, no other major space weather events heading our way. Have a look here at the earthquakes the last 24 hours. We're going to start out here in North America, 2.5 here in Toya, Texas. As well, Anaheim, California reporting a 2.7. Rosedale, California, 3.1, 3.3 there. Trona as well, 3.0. Mammoth Lakes, Quakes in the Lakes. Lake Davis as well, reporting a 2.7. So nothing major still across the North American plate. Pretty quiet, considering. And when I put out that video last night, too quiet. We're still kind of expecting. I was like, I was waiting for deeper earthquakes. Something's got to give. We've still got a lot of pressure coming up in the lakes. And in the geysers all across the upper northwest and as well through California, Mammoth Mountains, Clear Lake, look at that, Mammoth Lakes 3.0, as well the geysers, right, and Cobb Mountain. And it seems that the pressure is now moving northwest. Yesterday it was moving northeast, now it's moving northwest towards Cascades. So heads up, Cascades. And this is why I've been putting out these update videos and keeping everybody on watch. I'm not trying to scare everybody. This is just a heads up. Because the earthquakes are increasing. And when they're atop a volcano, I'm going to put a video out about it and talk about it. Because it needs to be documented. So that's Mount St. Helens and as well Rainier. Having a look here in Puerto Rico, most recent today, largest reporting a 3.9. But the depth throughout Puerto Rico right now, those three earthquakes, 
a little bit concerning through the subduction zone. A couple lonely earthquakes here through Chile. Not very deep either. Continual earthquakes throughout Rwanda, Africa. 4.5 and a 4.3 reported there today. Just look at the last four days for earthquakes. So they're seeing about two or three large 4 point and greater earthquakes a day. Interesting. Events happening across Africa. Prayers for Africa. 4.2 there reported in Greece as well. 4.7 in Pakistan. 4.4 there, Sinabung, Indonesia. And the largest earthquake today, 5.2, Qinghai, China. 4.7 in Japan, South Japan, towards the South China Sea. As well, 4.2 there. And a pretty deep earthquake here, Kuril Island, south of Kamchatka, 421 kilometer depth. 2.5 there, West Aleutian Islands. And the earthquakes are increasing through the upper northeast of Alaska. Not much to report through Hawaii. And the activity is back here through the Tonga region. 108 kilometer depth, 571 kilometer depth, and 609 kilometer depth. So yeah, some still very deep earthquakes today. Be on watch because we always expect larger, shallower earthquakes to follow. Have a quick look here. The last seven days for earthquakes. Still pretty quiet through North America. Quakes are coming back to Fiji. Deep quakes too. You look at the number of them. And we seem to be a lot of deep quakes around the planet now. Pretty deep one there up in Macedonia, towards Macedonia. And the continuing earthquakes through Africa is a little bit concerning. India plate up into the Eurasian plate through China. And just much too quiet through the West Coast and the Cascades. Just saying. That's the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. We're still going through a lull right now, only looking at 240 the last 24 hours. Now we've still got an extreme weather event that is happening through central United States. We've got tornado warnings popping off through Oklahoma tonight. Last night it was Texas, and most likely there will be some tornado watches popping up through Texas before sundown. So heads up, my American friends, the extreme weather is still going to be heading eastward throughout the week. And right now we're looking at tornado warnings through Oklahoma. Have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update. Sange in Ecuador, Nirigongo in the Congo, Swiss in Ejima in Japan, Nevada de Ruiz, Decono, Sabincaya and Fuego, Soufriere, St. Vincent, Nevada de Chilean, Reventador and Etna, Semeru, Indonesia, Ibu, many droughts and fires, floods across the world. The Great Sitkin has awakened. Pacaya. So that's about 14 volcanoes being updated just today, and we still have 47 that are active. And stay tuned for this Sunday volcanic activity report. I'll give you a full rundown on all the active and erupting. Lots of storms popping up across uh, Southeast Asia as well. Pakistan through Sri Lanka and as well the peninsula of Malaysia and Taiwan. Flooding conditions in Africa, storms Macedonia and Greece and as well a landslide being reported there. Floods through Northeast Africa as well. Droughts throughout this region. There's so much going on in Africa right now. Active and erupting near Gongo and near Mirigira. And now they've got flooding conditions and drought conditions just east of them. you got to really wonder what's happening to their continent. <laughs> Big shift underway. Now let's get a five-day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth. And morning dew, daily events worldwide, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Is Yeah, it feels like spring out there, even a little bit like summer, actually. Uh, everything is green now, and we've still got this warm Pacific moisture coming in. 
Looks like we're going to get up to about 21 degrees Celsius by next week. But then still some cool temperatures might come in behind that. Nice high pressure ridge, keeping things warm, but really heating things up across the states. As we saw some pretty intense weather through Texas last night. And throughout the week, you're going to see the extreme weather continue especially through the central plains moving eastward. Big battle right now between the cold northern lows that, that are coming through. And when you've got gulf lows mixing with your northern lows, watch for extreme weather. So pretty much dry across the east, most of the systems will be centralized. Looking here over the Atlantic, Watching for pretty vigorous low-pressure systems here affecting Greenland and Iceland. Watch for very windy conditions. This might help thwart and put out the active Fegradus folly, but most likely not. It's on its way to the ocean. It's trying. It's going to fill up a couple valleys first. Overlooking Europe, low-pressure system here hanging around Turkey. will eventually move out towards the end of the week but watch for daily evaporation rains and storms. And through Northern Europe, watch for things to really dry out. Overlooking Southeast Asia and parts of India, watch for that tropical cyclone to head westward along the Himalayas and then back eastward towards Bangladesh. So watch for storms throughout the week and as well, long line of moisture heading out of Taiwan through China out to the Pacific Ocean, so watch for a lot of flooding conditions to start popping up throughout Taiwan and China. And as well, a pretty intense low-pressure system here heading through Korea, South Korea this week. Daily evaporation rains continue through Indonesia and Malaysia, but watch for an intense low-pressure system here to develop throughout the week. It could be a typhoon. Stay tuned to the dew. It could change drastically. You know how things can really change drastically on this planet, you know? <laughs> Overlooking Australia, big high-pressure ridge, eventually going to move out, but then watch for this intense low-pressure system to head towards Western Australia. So this system is going to make landfall Perth, Australia, and it's going to be a doozy of a storm and most likely bring some pretty intense extreme weather all the way up the coastline to northern Australia. So heads up, my Aussie friends. And watch for that system to head towards southeastern Australia in the long range. Look at that. Fueled by two high-pressure ridges on each side. We'll see what happens to this low-pressure system in the long-range forecast. Overlooking New Zealand. Big low-pressure system affecting you as well. Gray days are ahead of you, and as well, some pretty cool temperatures behind this low-pressure system. Some areas as cold as minus 8, probably higher elevations. As well, cool temperatures hanging around southeastern Australia. No major weather events for Hawaii. West Coast BC here. Mostly northern BC is going to be seeing the rain from this big low-pressure system thanks to that intense high pressure just south of you. Watch for an uptick in seismicity through Alaska as this system heads into there for Monday into Tuesday. It is a vigorous one. Deep lower level trough. That's why it's not penetrating the mountains. Overlooking South America, storms along the Brazil and Argentina border as well. Watch for possible tropical system here developing over Nicaragua in the long range forecast so we could have a central pacific storm developing in the long range no major weather events to report in Africa either and no rain in sight there for Somalia drought stricken and floods and earthquakes and volcanoes and prayers for Africa my oh my, prayers for humanity. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. 
looking at these beasts of a system that are still spinning around our planet. Thank you so much for watching. Interesting forecast, to say the least. Thanks to all of the new followers as well. Welcome to the family. Hashtag do crew. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Versus the Northern Hemisphere. Much love. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the